And I know I've been missing in action, child, but I am back and uh, it's Friday and I am getting ready to head out the door because Earl and I are going to have us some quality time with the storm and everything um, we didn't get to. So yeah, you guys come on along with us. We're going to go and just get some appetizers and some drinks and just kind of be with one another. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Actually, um, got a lot of rest, so now I'm gonna go and get my nails done, y'all. Um, your girl has been so stinking tired, like really, really, really tired here lately, and um, just trying to. You know, hold on one second. All right, so like I was saying, i am just been so tired. I think it's just been a lot going on here in Houston, you know. Um, with the weather and lights being out. And I didn't record at all during that whole thing because it was one of those things that was like, you know, you're just trying to get things to survive. And um, just to give you all a little... A little bit of what happened you know like Sunday well Monday we found out that you know the weather was coming in so we got word from work like stay at home work from home child I logged on at 7 a.m. and uh, the lights went out at 9 30 on Monday didn't come back on until like late Wednesday and then I was trying to get things back put back together in my house on Thursday so I didn't go to work and then Friday uh, went to work and then of course it was another weekend and we still haven't put stuff out because um, like we knew that there was going to be a rainstorm coming in um, this past week and really wasn't too bad but that's the thing is like now with all the weather because you know we had this um, we had this storm that came in like right before we went on our cruise uh, we were fine but a lot of people went through a lot of stuff and it was just weird because now we're like we got PTSD every time some weather comes in you're kind of afraid you don't know what it's gonna bring or anything like that so I don't know um, just a lot of ups and downs and stuff like that so uh, and now uh, and then just y'all just pray for our family because there's a lot going on too in our family so we just ask for prayer um just lots of stuff just all kinds of things <laughs> anything you can think of as what's happening and stuff and so i'm really trying to take care of myself mentally as well um we did have a small fourth of july party um at the house nothing big like we normally do but it was kind of nice to have some family around and stuff like that and um yeah so that's pretty much it like I said, right now, I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm about to show y'all my nails, and you're going to know, like, okay. Yeah, she going through it. Y'all, look at my nails. I don't know if y'all can actually tell, because I showed Earl, and he couldn't see. Luckily, I picked this color last time, but it's been a minute since I got my nails done. And, um, yeah, it's been a minute. So, anyway, because um, I was doing my own nails for a while that wasn't quite working out like I thought it would like I just like mm -mm. so a month ago I decided well, I'm gonna start getting my nails done again and then 
and the reason why I stopped, I think I told y'all, is because um, the cost, everything just costs so daggone much. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to spend some money and get my own stuff and do my own nails. And it was working out, but then, like, when we went on the cruise, because um, I had did my nails, I was real, like, diligent, took, you know, taking um, my time with it. I think a couple of them fell off while I was uh while we were cruising luckily I had some glue and then after a while I was just like forget it I don't even care and I've never gone on a cruise like that but um so I am like I said gonna go get these done I'm not getting my toes done because they still look decent so probably what I'll do is just to kind of um I may end up doing my my toes myself um and then maybe every now and then just go and get them trimmed or cut down or something like that but other than that Mm -mm. I'm still trying to save money on that front. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and get down this road and get to getting these nails done. And I'll show y'all afterwards what I'm looking like. All right? Bye. All right, y'all. Sorry. I got peppermint in my mouth. So, this is what I ended up with. Um, Y'all know I kept talking about the price or whatever. So, I got a refill. This is powder. And the refill was 43 do y'all remember I know I'm gonna be aging myself do y'all remember when a refill was $25 or 20 bucks you know but anyway they said um, it was gonna be the same cost as shellac so I just went on and did the powder because it's faster it's quicker but it kind of matches my toes so yeah it's number well, here it's number nine. I don't know for some kind of powder, but I just wanted to say that. And now I'm gonna probably go get me something to eat or drink. I saw Earl had something delivered to the house, so I'm gonna call him, see what he got. If I need to pick up something, I will. And then head on to the house, and then we're going to the movies later on. We're gonna spend some some good time together because, like I say, he's been working, 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 and um, finally he's got weekends off again. So we're gonna. You know, just be together. Spend some time together. That is it, y'all. I'm excited to just kind of rest and relax today. So, yeah. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. All right. So, y'all just stay tuned. Bye. All right, y'all. I got my sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. And it, this looks really good. The bun, the croissant is so soft. I got Earl of Taco. And then my caramel coffee. Y'all, don't get me wrong. I love me some Starbucks. I'm trying to think. Do I want? I'm trying to think if I want to put jelly or anything on my sandwich. Maybe not because I have the caramel coffee. Um, I'm just gonna close this on up. But you know, they can get a little expensive at times. So um, sometimes your local coffee places can save you a little coin. And um, that's exactly what happened to me today. Is I, well, actually during the storm, well, after the storm, whatever, when stuff started opening up again, I ordered myself a coffee from a local coffee shop. And, y'all, it was so good and didn't cost as much as Starbucks. And so, yeah, this is my new little spot for now, especially when I'm home. You know, when I go to work, it's different because I don't have that place, but this is my new little spot. coffee I forgot to take my meds so <clears throat> I um, I 
have, I'm not, I'm just going to say I have diabetes or been diagnosed with diabetes for a while now. So I have to take that medicine, you know, um, twice a day. And then in order to um, not have any kind of um, issues with my heart, I've been put on like cholesterol medication and also uh, high blood pressure medicine to control my uh, blood pressure. But then on top of that, I was talking to my mother-in-law. And she was telling me about, like, things, another thing that women should take is, like, calcium. So I've been taking my calcium. I've been taking a one-a-day vitamin. And I think it's vitamin E. I think that's what it is. Let's go in my room right now and see. Because I take them every day and I put them in my little pill thing. And so I hadn't taken it today. And I was upstairs watching uh, YouTube with Earl. But I just want to show you guys. I am 50... How old am I? I'm 53. I'll be 54 in a couple of um, in a couple of weeks. But I take calcium. She told me to take some calcium. Um, take a, a one, women's 50 and over. I do a one daily vitamin, and then I also it's vitamin D, not di vitamin E. It's vitamin D3. And these are like the gel caps. So I take those every day. I have to say I do feel a little bit better. I just need to make sure I get my rest because like I told you guys, I it's just been so much going on. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to take that. And then uh, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. Bye. All right, y'all. It's time to go. We're going to Z Movies. My husband over here. Wanted to see Twister and his wife over here. Just wanted to spend time with him because he's been working hard for two weeks. So, we're going to spend a little quality time together. Are you excited, babe, to be with your wife? Yes. <laughs> you don't act excited. You don't look excited. Y'all, I, I promise y'all. Earl has a personality. I promise y'all he do. I know sometimes he get on here, he be trying to act funny. Why you be acting funny, baby? He be acting funny. I ain't good. Cause I don't like him acting funny in front of y'all. Anyway, um, but no, we're on our way um, to see Twister. If y'all weren't born yet, this is a remake. Y'all don't get excited. I'm sure they're gonna put all kinds of craziness in it that they couldn't do back in the day you know as far as tornadoes are concerned which why are we going to go see something like that especially after hurricane barrel but anyway just something to entertain and then like um looks like it's going to rain again today or whatever but you know we're going to make it we are going to make it so i'm going to go spend time with the hubby the hubby going to come spend time with me and then we'll probably just chill the rest of the day, to be honest with you. I don't have anything else planned unless he does. Do you have anything else you wanted to do today, babe? Get some rest. Get some rest? Yeah. Yeah, get some rest or whatever. So I told him, I said, I'm, I'm, I've been tired, and I can only imagine how tired you are. So, yeah. That's it. We're heading out. Talk to y'all later. Bye, bye. Morning, morning, morning. It is Sunday morning. We are upstairs watching church, and while they're doing prayer requests, I decided to come down here um, and do some avocado toast with egg this morning for Earl and I. We're going to make some coffee while I'm here, and um, yeah, so just going to make a little avocado toast, then I'll head it right back upstairs. So. Here's my avocado. <laughs> Let me get my toast. Let me get my bread. I got some eggs out here. You guys can see that. Um, got the eggs out. And let me get our whole wheat toast. I made this. When did I make this? Oh, Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday when I was working from home. So I'm deciding to go ahead and try to make it again. And yeah, so yeah, like I said, stay tuned.
then I have it just with the egg, no cheese on mine. So there, nicely seasoned and everything. So yeah, bon appetit. All right, y'all. I um, am going to go out here and we still haven't put things back on the patio from the storm. But I want to put some water in my little fountains back here. I feel like my battery is about to run out. But I'm going to put some water in my fountains and see if I can get them to run in again. I do like the things that I have here as far as the solar power. I don't like them streamed up like that though. I think the people that cut the grass put them up like that. But I don't care for that. Um, it just looks ugly to me. <laughs> it just doesn't look very cute. Um, but I am going to see if I can get my fountains. The thing that I was thinking that I was hoping for these fountains were that this um, the solar would charge it and it would run all night because of the solar sun. But not doing that. So, let me see if I put this water in here and see if we can get this thing to run in again. Y'all stay tuned. Let me try to prop y'all up somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, it's very humid out here. Alright. You know, I still ain't got this propped like I needed it to be. There's plenty of water in here. Not sure why. It's not working. I don't understand. Alright, let me see if I can fix it. I'm trying to prop this up to make the sun go to it. But it's not quite working. So I'll have to fix and figure this out. Alright, I got this one working. Now let's try to see what we can do over here. I thought I needed water, but apparently I don't. So let's see if I finagle this a little bit. Will it work? So I put it up there like so. Catch it. Let's see what it's looking like. So it is blue. So let's see if it's going to work for us. Oh, I see what's happening. This is disconnected. All right, let me put this back together. All right, we got it to work. So basically, I think the hose was disconnected from the actual pump. So now they're both working. Hey. So I just like having everything complete. That's just who I am, guys. So I think Earl and I are getting ready to go to HEB for some groceries. So I'll probably bring you guys along. Alright. Yay for the fountains. <laughs> I don't know why I just love these little fountains. I've had them for a while. And it's just bringing me a little bit of joy. Just a little bit of joy. I'll show y'all here shortly. Just a few little groceries to hold us over. We got some green beans, some frozen rice, black eyed peas. I love to get this fried rice, add a, an egg or something to it. It's really good, a good um, meal. And then um, these are the chicken strips I like. Y'all, they had this sample of peach wine. And I don't care for sweet. This wasn't overly sweet. It's really good. And then this is a good alternative to soda if you guys crave soda but don't want all the sugar and the calories to go with it. These are really good. I can't wait for Earl to, to try it because I think this will be good for him. And then they had gum on sale. <laughs> so we got gum. And then I got me some salads. Y'all, I'm trying to do my thing once again. <laughs> so I got salads for lunch. I got this queso fresco, 
Santa Fe. And then this one looked really interesting, the apple walnut salad with chicken. I'm going to try that. And they were only like $2.75. And then we're probably going to have pasta tonight for dinner. Girl was craving cantaloupes, so we got some cantaloupes that were already cut up. And then we also got some whole ones to cut up. Interested in to try these because H-E-B normally comes out really good produce. And then he got some bagels, cream cheese, you know, that kind of stuff. That's pretty much it. Some ham for like lunches. And then with the, we got that, um, did you already put it in the fridge? That chicken salad? Yes. Yeah, we got like this turkey, this turkey pecan cranberry turkey salad that H-E-B makes, which is so good. And then with that, you get a, a box of crackers. Um, when you buy a pound of that, you get a box of crackers for free. So yeah, that is it. So now we're putting things up. Bye. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready for dinner. Right here, I have like a Cajun. This is leftovers. Like a Cajun marinara Alfredo type of sauce with spinach, chicken breast, and andouille sausage, bell peppers, and onions. So instead of boiling um, some noodles and putting it over noodles like we initially had it, I'm going to go ahead and put it over rice. I think it'll be okay having like a red sauce over rice. And then I have some garlic bread that I'm going to put. It's going to be a very simple meal. Oh, yeah. Look, there's y'all's friend. There's Kayla. Speaking of Kayla, she is studying her second year as a school teacher. Y'all, I posted on the community page her Amazon wish list. You guys came in clutch last year. So I don't know if... She, if I know <laughs> her father <laughs> purchased her entire list but I'm sure there's other things that she can add um, you know little small things mm -hmm. that you guys can help and contribute with and stuff like that so congratulations Kayla mm -hmm. on your second year as a You're teacher that's it let's do it bye all right so here's the rice brown rice that's what we kind of like to eat around here and then I'm just gonna put some of this sauce on top it's almost like I told Kayla, it's almost like the consistency of like a gumbo. A little bit, not all the way, but you can, you know, this would be really good if you put like some shrimp, maybe even some okra in this, because we already got the andouille sausage in here. So you can just do what you need to do. So yeah, Cause, and, and then too, it almost has a consistency of like, um, what I wanted to say, like a crawfish etouffee. You can put crawfish in that as well and put it over rice. Bon appetit. All right, I forgot to show y'all. I'm also eating it with some garlic bread. I think I showed y'all that. All right, bye. I forgot to close out the video. So it's actually Tuesday. I'm getting ready to get on my computer and edit this video so that you guys can see it tomorrow. Um, midnight tonight tomorrow morning whatever however you want to call it and so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos I really appreciate everything you guys do for me um, constantly being there even when I take a hiatus because like I said sometimes I just need that mental break guys so yeah thank you so much but I also wanted to um, say really fast too before I close out go on over to journey with the Joneses because um, there's still some episodes from our cruise that are being played on over there so I hope you guys will enjoy something like that but again don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you don't mind if you like what you saw so far I do bring a little bit more content um, I'm trying to get back in the groove again with the vlogging and everything and also trying to do some more decor videos you guys let me know if you want to see more decor videos because um i enjoy doing them i really do i enjoy keeping my house a certain way and um there's just been a little bit of a debate <laughs> let's just say that about you know if i should keep those going or not so you guys let me know what you think below but don't forget to comment thumbs up me all that good stuff i love to read you guys comments and comment back to you guys and you know hit those uh reply to you guys in the comment section so yeah i would appreciate all of that so again i will talk to you guys later bye bye